First stop, day eight, the Cherokee National Heritage Museum. Um, I had just seen a sign off the highway and decided to come here instead of possibly going to the Oklahoma City bombing, which I might still do. But I came here, and this is outside the museum, and of course the gift shop where I got my um, my postcards for Oklahoma. And I kind of walked in with a tour group, and I don't know where I needed to pay for my tour, so. I kind of got it for free because I didn't see a place to pay for it, but I know you were supposed to pay for it. Um, and there's statues all around the front. But I only went in the museum. I'm not going to tour the grounds just because of time. And. Well, actually, today I'm going to kind of take it easy. I might go to one other place and then just find a rest area and relax, read a book, lay outside, do something other than sit and drive. So, here is... I'll show you this before I turn it off. The Trail of Tears. So they were given two years from the date to remove the Indian Territory when the time had expired. Only 2,000 of the nearly 17,000 Cherokee remaining in the East had departed. So in 1838, General Winfield Scott and 7,000 federal and state troops arrived and they enforced the removal. And they gave all the like cities and stuff. So let's see. The remainder of the Cherokees began their trek west in the fall of 1838 in 13 detachments. After enduring an extremely severe winter, they arrived in the west in late winter and early spring of 1839. It had been estimated that from 2,000 to 4,000 of the 16,000 Cherokees died as a result of the forced removal. I felt compelled to come here. So. Alright, I guess I had day eight, first trip, Oklahoma. And I'm going back to my car to drive some more. So I will see you on the next stop.